Hey guys, my name is Lubo and today I want to show you the Paul Landers signature pedal by Tech 21 Paul Landers, of course, is one of the two guitar players in the band Rammstein, which is a German metal band from Berlin. I'm from Berlin as well. And everyone who knows Rammstein or has been to one of the live shows or even seen one of their videos knows that they have a very, very unique approach to everything they do. Artistically speaking, production-wise, sound-wise, lyric-wise even, this unique approach definitely comes through in this pedal. I mean, look at the size of it. It's so small, you know, and since this thing is meant to be used directly into the PA or into the recording interface like I'm doing here, um, this completely eliminates the need for any additional gear if you want to perform live or record. Essentially what it is, is a couple of things in one box. So you have your clean channel, which is Vasa. Then you have your distortion channel, which is Foya. You can switch between those two channels like you would on a regular amp. Then you have the boost, which you can use in either of the clean or the distortion channel if you want to take a solo or whatever. Then you have a delay, which you can use with the tap tempo switch so you always have its quarter notes repeats always in the tempo of the song which I think is really helpful and especially when the drummer has timing variations let's call it that and if you hold down the tap tempo switch uh, the tuner comes on and mutes the signal as you can see those features are very much geared towards uh, live use Now let's go through some of the sounds in there. Let's start with the clean channel then. Um, I boosted a bit of the highs and doubts in a little bit of compression and this is the kind of tone that I was getting. Which I think sounds really really good. Um, then again this level control just adjusts the output level of the clean channel. Um, you have the option to engage this bite switch, which gives you a little bit of uh, more top end and actually a little bit of drive. Now I want to show you the ambience control, which is basically like a reverb control or room simulation. If you turn it off... It's, uh, it's very subtle, but uh, if I just hit a chord and then stop, you'll probably hear it. Here is like a little slap back. Turn that way. I think this, uh, especially for clean sounds or if, if the guitar sounds a little bit dry and two-dimensional for you and you want to make it three-dimensional, this is always a cool option. And then if you want to third, uh, uh, thicken up the clean sound, you can uh, get, get the delay going. So the repeats actually determine how much delay trails there are. So I've set it up for just a couple of them. I think it's really cool. 
Clean Town now. And if you want to go real ambient, you just hit that size switch for the ambience knob and the reverb gets even longer. And then if you hit the foia switch, it turns on the distortion circuit. And since this one has a level control as well, you can pretty much dial in the exact levels of uh, distortion and clean sound. When we come to the boost control, there's a punch knob as well, which you can push in. And it's, uh, again, it slightly thickens up the mid-range. So with that, it's, the boost sounds like this. And uh, then you push in the punch switch. Almost sounds a bit martially to me now. Another thing I can show you is the vibrato. So if we go back to the clean channel, when we turn on the delay and push in the vibrato switch, all of a sudden our delay turns into a vibrato. And again, you can use the tap tempo switch to determine how wobbly you want it to be. So right now it's almost like tremolo style, right? slower like this and uh, another cool thing is this little headphone button which turns this output right here into a headphone app so if you're just somewhere and you just want to practice a little bit with your headphones, you can plug this pedal in and just plug in your headphones right here. For me, those kinds of videos are not necessarily meant to be gear reviews or anything like that, but if just companies design really cool products that are really helpful and especially help out musicians to, to just, uh, you know, travel lightweight, have everything in one box, don't uh, just worry less about those kinds of things. I just think it's cool and I think it's worth, you know, doing videos about it. I'm not a metal guitar player, I'm not even a guitar player, I consider myself more a producer, bass player, singer, whatever, but, um, you know, for me, I can, I can see myself using those kinds of things like everywhere I go, basically, and it's awesome. It's just awesome that those kinds of things exist. Yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Leave some comments down below, and uh, guys, see you in the next one, man. Bye.